to advertise, make money, give to you one more song. See, you see, once you are driving to a local airport anymore, there should be live. Explain that part that part of the online advertisement has reduced so much. They will see, they will see come. They will 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 come. Okay. Online advertisement has, has, not, taken it. has not overtaken what is real life advertisement. Most of them have not been taken. In terms of the money, you may see how they want to put it down and say, well, a lot of online is there. But you get money. Oh, sure. Okay. You sure. get money. Sure. Okay. So if you have an avenue to raise revenue, why not use it? Would we'll explain all this well. If you want to give it out to one person, give it. And the person gives you fun one lump sum. Okay. Or, if you have a department to manage all of them one by one, say you are giving you this place, where well, I'm going to take one year, take two years, but splash all year with advance. Okay. Every local airport you come to alive, when people are coming in, we have enough products in the country, enough people to advertise. And we can do something. Revenue, revenue, revenue. Eh? I have your word on that? Yes, you do. I'm like, no, so I said I'll get back to you about a week.
Bad luck.
Somebody picked it, my president. He was as he was. Somebody picked the battery, me, I picked the light. But I can't.
Lagos Terminal without a provision to take the big planes. So you don't have the avior bridges that can link to the big planes. I hope you understand. Yes. That has been the problem why we have not been using this new terminal. And Nigerians have been asking that question. Meanwhile, 60% of the revenue of FAN comes in from the Lagos Gateway. The Lagos Gateway is one of the major gateways into the country. And that is the first impression you get when you get into the country. So what is the solution to this? I have said we must use what we have for now. Whilst I've told them that I'm giving them international airlines and all the other airlines till the 1st of October to move from there, move from the old terminal to this new terminal. And now what we are going to do temporarily, we are going to shut down the old terminal and sort out all the issues regarding the renovation of the old terminal. There are issues already on the ground before I came, concession and all of that. For now, I have suspended all of that until I brief Mr. President as to what is happening regarding all of those noises going on, including the issue of the Nigerian air. I have given directly to suspend everything until I brief Mr. President fully. The duty I owe Mr. President is honesty. He brought me here for me to, to correctly advise him. I'm, so I'm looking at all the agreements and everything that was signed to correctly inform Mr. President. I owe my total loyalty to the Nigerian people to have the best of the services, aviation services, and to Mr. President. And that's what we are doing. So for now, the temporary arrangement we want to make is that for the comfort of Nigerians, we have to find a way to use this, the new terminal built by the Chinese, even without the planes, the big bodies coming in to use the, there's no avio bridge for them to use, the jet bridges for the passengers to pass. So like it's done in many other countries, we are going to do emergency procurement to buy the big buses. And so we are going to box, put them in buses and move them to where the planes, they stop, the big planes stop. In an orderly fashion, both arrival and departure. So Nigerians can have some kind of comfort with this new facility. The long-term plan, the long-term plan is that we are going to find a way to build avio bridges for the big bodies coming in. And that means, of course, and that is where we stopped the first time, some of those private terminals, those tiny private hangars, they have to go for public purpose. They have to go. We have to re relocate them. If we have to do anything for them, we will relocate them so that we can have a functional, beautiful gateway to Nigeria. But right now, I'm giving them to the 1st of October to shut down the old terminal and we can use this new facility by this arrangement that we are putting on the ground. Thank you. May we ask a few questions? Just one or two, sir. Yes. Not now. This is this is for this is for.
I want, I want say, for people coming into the country, I want two or three major maintenance issues, and I must have that within the next two weeks. One, the central cooling system. Let me have your plan for maintenance of this place. If the Chinese have handed over after one year, let us know what we have on ground for the maintenance of the central cooling system for people coming into the country. Two, the lighting. And three, the carousels. The bells are bringing out the bags. Let us have your plan for those three, for those three issues for arrivals. Within the next one or two weeks, let me have it. Because that's the major complaints of people, of Nigerians coming in and other people coming in. Let us give them some comfort. Please. Huh? Let's move. This is Anything, but let us come and talk. We are talking about total overhaul, not uh, this uh, tokenistic thing. Go and repair this, go and repair that. Eh? We are just doing procurement, procurement for people to be eating. That's all. Let's not do that. And then, I have, I have not ordered demolition of any property. I saw one uh, news somewhere now that I ordered demolition of Dominion. I, I did not say so. Did I say so? No. no I never said people. so. They have been giving other places, but the point is that we will talk with them. Those private hangars that are disturbing the expansion of the apron for the big bodies to come in for us to use the new terminal, they must, they must have to make sacrifices for Nigerians as a whole. So the private rights of people cannot override the comfort of Nigerians as a whole. That's all we are saying. We are going to treat them with respect, alternative place will be provided, time will be given, and all the respect and their rights will be respected. I never said, gentlemen, I never said any property should be demolished. So my attention will just draw to a news item now. But Nigerians should understand why we have not been enjoying our, our, our airport facility. It's because of certain private interests that are disturbing 
the big bodies to come in, the big aircraft to come in, and we have to give way to expand both the taxiway and the aircrafts for them to pass. That's all we are saying. Is that what I said? Yes. That's all I said. This is where they put um, on serviceable planes and they have been here for so many years, like I am told. I also understand that um, several of them went to court um, and the cases have ended one way or the other. So uh, the first uh, directive I am giving, I've told the MD fan, is that all of these aircraft here, these dead aircraft that are totally unserviceable, you cannot pack them on the facility of the federal government. You cannot pack them perpetually on the facility of the federal government. We want to expand the apron here. And so they will have three months for all those who have unserviceable aircraft here. We are giving them three months, three months, to come and take away their aircraft. After which, we shall be at liberty to do away with these um, with these aircrafts, because we want to expand our aprons to this place. So, please, I've told the MD fan, get in touch with all of those. MD, sir. Yes, I've told the MD fan, get in touch with all of those who have their unserviceable aircrafts here. We want to expand this apron, please, eh? Yes, sir. Three months, three months, they should come and remove all the aircraft here. Or we will dispose of these aircraft because it is our facility and they are hampering uh, development here where we have to expand our aprons. Thank you. I have also seen reports that they said we totally closed down Lagos. That is not true. Uh, there are fifth columnists out there who would like to misrepresent me at every point in time to make our work difficult. All I've said is that we should move and use the new terminal. That's all I've said. The new terminal that is underused, we spent a lot of money building it, and we have to use it. The old terminal is a total eyesore. Since I came into office, I've heard complaints upon complaints. The central air conditioner is not working. The carousels are not working. They broke down quite often. And the approach into the airport is smelly. It is totally unwelcoming, I mean, to people coming into Nigeria. And that is the gateway to Nigeria. So I have given a directive that we should, totally, we should completely shut it down and use the new terminal that can also take the traffic. Now, what was the problem? And I've said it before, I'll repeat it again. The problem with the old terminal was that they did not take into consideration the big airplanes that will come in and anchor with the avion uh, bridges that will take passengers into arrival. The space is not enough and I've said that why the space is not enough is that there are private hangars there that cannot allow the planes to come in and that is why we are not enjoying our new terminal. And the question I've asked is that why did somebody approve such a project? Why? Why did somebody actually approve such a project? Without, without you know, uh, approving the total reconstruction of the the uh, places where the big bodies the big bodies were anchor for the jet bridges to you know to come and uh, disembark and passengers so as a stopgap measure we have said just like it's done in so many countries we are going to get buses do some emergency procurement so that we can in an orderly manner board passengers and disembark passengers and also bring them to arrival and take them you know through departure to the aircraft in an orderly fashion in buses in big buses that's what we want to do for now 
as a temporary measure. And then guess what? Why did I say we should uh, shut down the old terminal for now? Because you cannot even you cannot even carry out major repair works. And that is what has been the problem. Over the years, because you cannot shut it down for total overhaul, they do things that are so tokenistic. Oh, today repair roll light here, remove uh, repair this color color so because they know that they are using it in you know on a daily basis. So it's difficult to carry out a comprehensive overhaul. Even for those who are fighting over concession now. I hope you know they are fighting over concession for that place now. How can they even carry out repairs? How? Even if they win the concession, how? <laughs> so please, let us get it clear. We have not ordered any closure of anywhere. We just want to use the new terminal and find a new way by which we can, you know, uh, board passengers and of course um, passengers can uh, disembark for, for processing.